Let me present you the situation for Slovenia and the neighboring Balkan countries. Uh, it's a small a country with the two million of inhabitants with estimated 10,000 of people who inject drugs and one of the lowest HIV uh, prevalence among European countries being far beyond 1%. Uh, and uh, the annual incidence is actually third the lowest among European countries. However, in the last year, the incidence has been increasing slowly. There has been an uh, estimated 0.5% of HBV seroprevalence with the co HIV co-infection being actively at 4%. And the HCV seroprevalence has been estimated at 0.4%. Uh, it's uh, the HIV HCV co-infection uh, with anti-HCV positives uh, has been shown to be 7.5% with RNA 5.7%. However, uh, it nearly uh, the whole co-infection uh, um, uh, recalls to uh, blood transfusion recipients before 1992. However, in the last two years, there has been an increase in acute HIV infection among HIV positive MSMs, mostly genotype 4, mostly acquired out of Slovenia, so there is a threat coming from this side. Uh, there is a prevalence uh, of uh, sub HIV subtype B in Slovenia uh, and actually uh, more than half of it comes from Slovenia, whereas other subtypes mostly come from abroad. Regarding HCV genotypes, there are two prevailing, genotype 1 and genotype 3, and historically, as you see, uh, in the last observational period, uh, genotype 3 has uh, overcame the genotype uh, 1. However, studies have clearly shown that genotype 1 has been uh, significantly correlated to uh, blood transfusion recipients before 92, and genotype 3 significantly correlates to injecting drug use. The uh, main risk factor for HBV infection is actually uh, sexual, uh, predominantly uh, both hetero uh, and uh, transmission in men who have sex with men. There is uh, a prevalence of uh, 2 to 8 percent of HBV infection in people who inject drugs. The vast majority of HIV AIDS patients in Slovenia are men who have sex with men. As you see, there is a very low percentage of uh, people who inject drugs. Uh, being beyond 3%. And the opposite uh, in uh, in, uh, regarding the HCV um, modes of transmission, uh, people who inject drugs are the most common uh, group of uh, HCV infection with 29% uh, uh, generally seroprevalence in this group. So uh, speaking of current situation uh, regarding HCV infection in Slovenia among infected, there are two-thirds of people who inject drugs. Just six percent of those uh, getting the infected before 1992 and there are more than a quarter with unknown mode of transmission. Uh, as for drugs, uh, all the currently recommended standard of care treatment for all the three viruses has been available in Slovenia, except for adefovir for hepatitis B and declatasvir for hepatitis C, not due to the current state policy, but due to pharmaceutical firms that are not interested in bringing this drug to such a small market as Slovenia. Uh, just of interest, uh, the indications for DIA treatment for hepatitis C in Slovenia is F more than 2. Uh, HIV, HCV co-infected are prioritized, and we do expect the update of these guidelines to expand the indication in December this year. Uh, everybody in Slovenia can get treatment for all the three viral infection, and it's completely covered by the basic insurance system with no uh, uh, exceptions except for one. It has to be prescribed by nominated specialists and according to to the national guidelines, uh, which are available for all the three infections. And just keep in mind that there's a special national viral hepatitis expert group, group of experts that actually uh, made uh, the strategy for hepatitis B and C infections. There are, there's one center for treatment of HIV AIDS in Slovenia and five for treatment of viral hepatitis. Uh, more than uh, 95 patients, uh, HIV AIDS patients have been on heart, and here's an error, more than 95 have been available 
virally suppressed. Every year, one to five uh, patients die of HIV AIDS. Regarding HBV, 80% of those who are diagnosed with hepatitis C receive treatment, and nearly all of them are actually HBV DNA suppressed. As for HCV, uh, 32 of all that are estimated RNA positive have got treatment, but these are the clear results. So of those who are RNA positive, 51% have so far been diagnosed. Of them, 65% have so far been treated, and actually the, the uh, rate of sustained virological response is extremely high because historically in Slovenia, treatment success has been evaluated systematically on the national level, and as you see already with optimized PEG interferon riba treatment, the 80% all over sustained virological response was gained, whereas last year in 2015 with the new DAAs, the all over SVR was 94%, and projecting the burden of a hep C infection in Slovenia towards 2013, a modeling study has shown that using the highly potent drugs uh, with realistic increase in diagnosis and treatment, actually the death rate due to HCV infection is going to fall dramatically. Now let's shortly proceed to other Balkan countries for which uh, data are missing in several of them. In Croatia, there are m a little more than 1,000 of HIV AIDS patients with the annual incident being slowly increasing. There is uh, the 7% uh, 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 estimated HBV prevalence and estimated 0.5 uh, HCV sera prevalence with 15% of co-infected, mostly more than half of them being parenterally exposed. Uh, there is a predominance of HIV B subtype, predominantly in men who have sex with men, and regarding HCV genotypes, genotype 1 predominates in general population and genotype 3 in people who inject drugs. The main mode of transmission of of HIV infection is sexual, particularly in men who have sex with men, whereas the HCV infection, the main mode of transmission is intravenous drug use with the prevalence up to 60 5% of HCV infection in people who inject drugs. All the currently recommended standard of care treatment for HIV is available for hepatitis B, tenofovirin, mivudin, and for DAAs for hepatitis C. Proceeding to Serbia, there are 3,300 3, of HIV AIDS patients with uh, trends of increasing annually. There are estimated 300,000 of HBV infected and estimated 70,000 of HCV infected with no data on co-infection, the prevalence of HIV subtype B in majority of cases, and the prevalence of uh, subtype 1B regarding HCV infection followed by genotype 3. Uh, regarding the risk factors, HIV has been predominantly transmitted in the recent years sexually, particularly in MSM populations, whereas the incidence of uh, infection in PWIDs has slowly been decreasing. Interestingly, nearly three quarters of HBV in in fact, it does not recall the main of transmission, the mode of transmission, and in PIW it's, it's uh, really a problem. As you see in particular parts, particular great cities, uh, there's a very high uh, HCV sera prevalence. Uh, there are two uh, combinations available for HIV treatment, two for HBV, and no DAAs available. For Bosnia Herzegovina, there's a uh, prevalence in HCV prevalence in general population up to 0.89 percent. Uh, the predominance of genotype 1B followed by genotype 3. HBV prevalence in first-time blood donors is hi quite high, up to 3.6%, and it's a low HIV prevalence country with 266 registered HIV AIDS cases. The predominant group being heterosexuals followed by MSM, and in people who inject drugs, HIV prevalence being up to 43%, low HIV prevalence, however, there's a very low uptake of HBV testing, no uh, data on co-infection available, uh, two uh, combinations for HIV treatment, two for HBV, and 3D just being in the process of uh, reimbursement. Uh, as for Montenegro, there are 6,000 of infected with very low annual in incidences being registered, genotype 1 and genotype 3 being predominant in particular groups, a low HIV prevalence country with calculated 0.02% uh, uh, prevalence, however, the uh, it's, uh, it's been uh, uh, underestimated. The prevalence of um, 
uh, the predominance of HIV subtype B is present in Montenegro, and uh, the main route of HIV transmission is actually sexual, predominantly in MSM and bisexual population, followed by heterosexual. Also here in Montenegro, there is a high uh, HCV seroprevalence in people who inject drugs, uh, low reported for HIV, however, there is uh, again uh, very low uh, uh, testing uh, in this population. No data on co-infection, uh, two combinations of drugs available for HIV AIDS, two drugs for hepatitis B, and actually none at the moment for HCV. These three DAAs are in the process of reimbursement. For Macedonia, the prevalence in general population 0.4%, genotype 1 predominates genotype 3, uh, HBV prevalence up to 1.4%, low HIV prevalence with 300, uh, 236 registered, MSM heterosexuals being mainly exposed, and very high, again very high, HCV seroprevalence in people who inject drugs, no data on co-infection, uh, actually uh, not, uh, no uh, HIV AIDS uh, and heart treatment, uh, no treatment reimbursed for HBV, and actually only PEG interferon for hepatitis C. In Kosovo, the prevalence 0.4%, 0.5% of hepatitis C in general population. Uh, up to 4.2%, the HBV prevalence in blood donors, keep in mind, a low HIV prevalence, key populations are uh, actually heterosexuals followed by MSM in very low proportion. The sero HCV seroprevalence in people who inject drugs up to 27% being quite low in MSM. No data on co-infection, actually one combination for HIV AIDS, uh, one modern drug for HBV and actually no DAAs for HCV. And finally Albania with the HCV prevalence prevalence up to 3% in general population, predominance of genotype one, of subtype 1B, 29% uh, HCV seroprevalence in drug users, HBV prevalence again uh, being quite high in the group of intermediate prevalences, low HIV prevalence, mostly heterosexual transmission, 70% in males, very low in people who inject drugs, and 5.6% co-infection as for drugs, no heart, uh, just lamivudine and uh, tenofovir, and three drugs of DAAs in the process of reimbursement. So to conclude, ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite a lot of data. In Slovenia, uh, the prevalence of gen in general population for all the three vi viruses is low, majority of HIV being SMS, uh, MS, majority of ACB being people who inject drugs, and actually all the currently recommended drugs are available. Whereas for other Balkan countries, uh, the in general population HIV and HCV prevalences are low, however, as you saw, HBV prevalence is intermediate in, in the three countries, and there is a very uh, great restriction of DAAs uh, except for Croatia. Thank you very much.